everyone at Luke Rides. Luke Rides is back with a video for you at the channel. Woohoo! Fuck yeah! So, the Ducati Super Naked. Now, Luke Rides hasn't really done a proper walkthrough of this magnificent beast from Italia, but actually a lot of German electronics underneath and German inspired engineering. Wow, you're so dominant. Uh, from Ducati, but still keeping to Ducati style, being Italian, and all that sort of stuff. So this is actually quite an interesting walkthrough for you all. If you're considering this Super Naked, if you're considering this absolute beast, uh, air-cooled unit, and the last of the air-cooled Ducati Super Nakeds. So we're going to have some fun with that and go through it, so you get to meet it in person. He's right. Do you know that? Whoa and know kind of what each uh, what the controls do what the looks are what sort of brakes you have what sort of power performance you have and just a general going over this mighty sexy super naked here at luke rides as on day we will be moving on from this fucking ducati you gotta say it like that fucking ducati oh, you shut the fuck up i know that was you i ain't even got a look and this is a good time to make content so with the sun shining it's showtime this is what you're about to meet, the Ducati Monster 1100 Evo. Oh behave. Super naked, super naked. Wow. So it's quite, quite, you know, what you're really looking at is basically an engine and brakes and that is uh you know that is about it a frame some controls you know lights wheels and the exhaust system and no fairings whatsoever so you really get to see that magnificent beast underneath Wow! What you have here is an 1100cc uh, DCC, not liquid cooled though. No, no, no. This is an air cooled super naked Whoa. from Ducati and was released just after Ducati had been purchased by Audi, Audi and Lamborghini. So this was the first real, this was the first one, the first monsters to come out from that birth, from that purchasing. Fuck yeah! From Audi, Lamborghini, Volkswagen Group. So what you're gonna notice, if you look at the actual connector blocks, such as these units here, and the internal wiring loom, these sheathed areas here, is that, <laughs> well, every Ducati owner would go gasping like, oh no! You can't handle the truth! But actually, it is Audi connector blocks and Audi wiring loom in a Ducati, in an Italian beast. You have Machiavini forks along here, which actually are pretty good at dampening the road and giving you a lot of feedback. Uh, Luke Rides can say these forks are quite impressive. Kickers. If you actually look at them, they even are sheathed. They got this gold accent across the bottom. Kind of more like a bronzy colour rather than a full on gold, but it still looks the part. It still looks quite nice. Wow. Uh, you also have Brembo. Uh, super naked brakes up front, massive calipers, a lot of braking power, a lot of braking performance from those Brembo's. Brembo discs as well up front, super naked discs. Um, then you have the Ducati safety pack. What that meant was when this was released, when this was released from Ducati, it, it was actually came as standard with anti-locking brakes and also came with Ducati's latest and newest traction control system. So that's why you have the Ducati safety pack because you've got these add-ons and these upgrades that the, the lesser models did not have. So this was specific to the Monster 1100 Edo Super Naked but was not necessarily given to the lower nakeds in Ducati's lineup. Beautiful kind of gunmetal grey, uh, gunmetal grey look here around the engine casing, massive engine casing. And then you have that massive 
1100 cc uh, actually two valves two valves per cylinder which is different you would usually used to meeting our four valve engines are standard um, even on the super nakeds but that uh, this is before that so this actually has two valve uh, one, two valves per cylinder rather than four strange things are afoot at the circle k so you've got a two valve 1100cc notice that there's no liquid cooling on this model there is no liquid cooling on this beast so what you get because there's no liquid cooling is you get the doo -doo -doo -doo, all those two cylinders going up down up down up down up down and there's nothing dampening those cylinders going up down up down up down uh, it's quite quite a thing it's it's quite a boom in the air you do notice it on the Ducati Monster 1100 Evo, it's quite a boom. You also have a trellis frame, but also in that lovely Ducati Red. That sexy Ducati Red, so sexy frame. Um, also you have that monster style, super naked with those... That actually, that mesh there is actually a front intake. No way. Uh, that isn't just style, this really is the intake in which the engine sucks in the air. Um, Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh. And brings her out, which is actually quite impressive. Standard, these are about 110 horsepower standard. Uh, lots of torque. Uh, but this one is very lucky. This one has been fitted with the Ducati Race ECU. But not only that, is that this system is full Termigamigami. Full Termigami exhaust system right to the cylinders. And the difference is instant the difference is actually really incredible because those two cylinders are now unlocked they're at full power full torque and that was what the engine was designed to be before emissions and sound deadening and heaviness and restrictions came out on the on the monster 1100 super naked um so you've got full system, no cats, no resonators, no bullshit involved. Like literally pipes, bang, engine. That's what you get. And it is sexy as fuck. And it looks really pretty. But also you do see the performance difference. There is a performance difference. You do feel more power, more torque across the entire rev range. Which is quite a difference. So then we've got this red, so we've got this red slooping piece there, which is actually quite pretty. But anyway, by standards uh, 1100 Evo so you got that lovely like just to let you know what this is which is brilliant you got the white stripe this is Pacific to the Monster 1100 Evo is the white striping from the back all the way to the front it's Pacific to this super naked to this model yeah baby yeah um, and again you get that uh, lovely red frame Big Marcinini forks with these little red headers at the top, which is quite interesting. Uh, that offers no wind protection whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, it's just a styling exercise from Ducati, but that actually does jack shit. And that does not offer you protection, but it looks good. So, you know, I'm sure it's because it's protecting that inner piece here with the instrument cluster. I think that's what it's about here at Luke Rides. Whoa. Um, but still, so red, quite pretty. You can get aftermarket, um, but what Luke Rides has noticed, it's not designed to have fairings. These are not designed to have wind protection, or you'd buy a fared motorcycle. So, actually, standard, it's quite pretty, but a smoked finish on that actually might look quite good, uh, which is quite interesting. But it looks super naked mean, just being clear like that. Wow. Uh, indicators along here as well and then on the front section that massive Ducati like I is uh, where Audi Lamborghini Volkswagen actually improved the lighting system and this piece is actually for to improve the beam pattern coming out of the super naked actually improving the beam pattern coming out which is quite interesting and then you have that lovely Ducati stripe at the top Big Brembo Super Naked uh, calipers and brakes and discs. Much in any forks with again red topping on that, the red little circle there. And then you see more of the trellis frame. You got a massive 1100cc engine from Ducati Super Naked. 
and then you get a wonderful Ducati uh, Ducati swing arm which is like, like the design and architecture Monachi Mozzanini uh, rear shock which is really good at dampening it's actually it is literally Luke Wright can say that is one of the best Mozzanini uh, front as well as rear suspension so far Luke has met oh Ducati super naked and then you got that lovely rear hugger which is quite sexy it's got a bit of carbon 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 going on there and then you got your chain on the right side rear light cluster indicators and look at that because this is the super naked you don't get a double sided swing arm no you get single sided swing arm where, you can sh where it shows off that rear wheel Whoa. Yummy, and then you come back round, and then again, you got the engine casing, you got more of that rear swing arm ABS ring inside here as well. ABS ring for anti lock brakes, which is brilliant. Remember, that was back in 2011, and uh, actually, it became an option on super bikes. Um, and you know, actually, very few motorcycles below super bikes got anti lock brakes as standard, it was an upgrade. And then you've got those pretty cylinders. It's probably worth doing a bit of carbon here, but like matte carbon. So it just sets her off. It's quite nice. And really pretty. So that is what you are going to find with the mighty Ducati Monster 1100 Evo. Really good walk around. Very nice. That's going to be difficult to try and put out of the video, but that's not the point. Massive rear tyre for its time massive rear tire for cornering handling and performance massive lots of torque six speed gearbox lovely it's not great on fuel but there's a super naked so it's not supposed to be you'd be about for maybe 80 miles or 90 miles you may get no 14 scratch that the crisis 14 it's usually 14 pounds for about 80 miles Yummy. And then as you come round, you got that white, whoa, Ducati Super Naked Stripe, 1100 Evo. And then you get this instrument cluster, which not only says Ducati Monster as it comes round miles an hour. The main focus is the rev counter, which is what you'd expect from Super Naked and Super Bikes. They all focus on the rev counter because when you are racing and you are going fast, that's all that matters. <laughs> so that's great to see. You got a neutral indicator here, engine management light, but this Ducati Super Naked, as it was built by Audi, Lamborghini, a Volkswagen, has been actually pretty reliable. Fuel warning light, lovely counter. And notice it goes bam, bam, bam. So it's like right across. And then you got your controls, which is basically full beam and dipped beam. You also have different modes on this, so you can do battery, you can do RPM, you can do set, you can do lap. And then if you toggle down, you get your trip meter and time, which is very professional, very sexy, very manly, very gentlemanly indicators and the off horn which i don't want to scare anybody so i'm not going to do that and emergency switch off and that is pretty much it this is not as advanced as the monster 1200 super naked but it is pretty you also notice with the ducati monster 1100 super naked in luke Ryan's walk around is notice that there is no carbies no carbs Feel injected, baby. Feel injected. This model was when it was completely fuel injected on both cylinders and computer managed throughout. So no worries about uh, rebalancing the carburetors and no worries about the troubles that come with carbs. Much more reliable, very reliable, future proof fuel injection. And it also means these two cylinders are getting all the fuel that they want instantly in any rev range with no power band. It's always there. The power and torque is always there all the time because of fuel injection. 
I'm watching here at Luke Rides, you got to see the catty super naked here at Luke Rides and the last of the air cooled super naked. But it is an exceptional motorcycle, been pretty reliable because again it's Audi, Volkswagen, Lamborghini technology inside the Ducati. Wiring loom is Audi, Lamborghini. Uh, engineering is a touch of the Germans of Audi, Lamborghini. So it is quite a little beast. But uh, hopefully if you're looking at owning this super naked or just want to meet one because you never had a chance to ride one, well then you've seen it here at Luke Christ. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a lot of fun making it. Uh, let's hit the road, get back on the Ducati Stallion and then we'll hit the road. Thanks for watching everyone and take care. Bye. The way we... The little rascal has spirit. That's awesome. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid. Well then, Basil, this looks like a case for double. Oh, behave! <laughs>